What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And we're about to get into this download, but I just wanted to share this book with my collective. I've had this book for about 20 years. Yeah, I've had, well, I've had this over 20 years. I bought this when it came out in 2001, 2000 and 2001. But I recommend that if you want to read a good author who gives you spiritual advice, life advice, advice on healing, on making decisions and understanding things, she has a very unique way of writing fictional stories that are life lessons, okay? I don't know how else to really put it, <laughs> but I've been reading this book for a long time and I went back to it yesterday and it's just really good. J. California Cooper, shout out to J. California Cooper. And I recommend all of her books, but this one in particular is good if you're on a spiritual or healing journey, okay? So, I just wanted to share that with y'all, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about this next download. Someone had a Freudian slip regarding you, about you. They slipped up and mentioned you, brought your name up. <laughs> People are confused. I just picked this up off that stack. They're confused because they like, what? When this person called out your name, it was, it was by accident they truly had a Freudian slip it's something like this person yo i'm getting something like they were looking at somebody else and telling them something admirable about themselves but they called that person by your name something like that here clarify please and thank you holy spirit what do you want us to know about this Freudian slip energy what is the insight and clarity that you have for us at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? From you, through me, at this time, Holy Spirit. But your spirituality is organic. You are very unique, one of a kind, okay? And this person has been thinking about you, but they ain't let nobody know they felt this way about you, but they did that whatever this was, the person they were talking to wasn't the only one who heard it. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you still love me? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how they felt. That's how they felt, child. This is something like they were, they were expressing affection to them and they said all these things beautiful wonderful things and then they called them by your name and now that third party is wondering does this energy still love you i'm trying to tell you now people had an epiphany there could be a leo involved here okay but that's how they felt they questioning if this person even want them Bipolar, because it whoever this is that had a Freudian slip about you, this person has previously put onto the world like they can't stand you. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. So why are they calling out your name after saying all of these wonderful, beautiful, affectionate things about another, supposedly to another? Okay, they're having an epiphany about this energy and who they really care for, that that may be why they talked so bad about you, why they seem so disgusted with you, because they really are confused about how they feel for you. This is the conclusion that people are coming to. And now people are really digging deeper into why this person may have tried to 
have issues and problems with you because it's obvious that they do love you, possibly still want to be with you, okay? Because they ain't slipping up the way they slipped up, okay, for no reason. That's what people know. The mistake they made, let me close this door, y'all. The mistake they made was too distinct, too specific to you as an individual, right? They called out your name in a way that everybody knew they was talking about you, okay? Like, for example, my name is Naya. I don't know a Naya that's older than me, but there's a whole bunch of other Nayas that are younger than me. And that's facts, okay? So, you know, I be out and about and I hear people say, Naya, and I look, you know, because they talking to their daughter or their granddaughter, their niece or whoever, okay? <clears throat> Your name, whatever he said, <laughs> this crazy what I'm picking up on. However he called out your name, it's very specific to you. Like you're known for this name, okay? So it ain't it ain't no way. And that was the most high God. Because this man is like nervous and jittery. He's scared <clears throat> that people are going to play on his weakness for you. You are a weakness to this man when in actuality, I feel like you could be a source of strength. I feel like he is confused about how it go. He feels like because he's so emotionally invested in you, because this man is emotionally invested, okay? There's somebody who I feel has been passionate about you, has very strong feelings for you, care, has cared about you for a long time, but something happened that he had to shift his public perspective of you. This is what I'm getting now. There's something that I feel people knew about you or was revealed about you that he had to be on one side of the fence or the other. So he chose the other side, but this man really still wants you, desires you, okay? And these people who heard him call out your name, this is the group of people who have a different perspective about you. These are the people who are on the other side of the fence when it comes to you. And he chose them. And it's really given like whoever this is, essential oils just dropped out the deck. This man may have been trying to use essential oils to help calm him, to help him get through this most recent debacle, okay? Because whoever this is that he was expressing his feelings to, those people that don't like you, them her people. Clarify. Please and thank you. Kissing an empress breaks the spell. They felt like she was going to be the key factor to make him get over you. These people have been plotting and scheming on this man. It's really given that. It's really given some sort of arrangement that they wanted him to be with this other woman, whoever they is, because I'm picking up on her people, but some of her people are his people as well. Okay, catch that T. I'm telling you, you see how my voice just did? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm telling you now, he got rats around him. They facilitated him being with this woman. You lost him to this other woman, okay? But that was orchestrated by people 
on his side and hers. Clarify, Holy Spirit. The Most High, though, has the final say. And the Most High allowed them to do what they did to cause the separation between you and him, okay? Because he had to learn. And he learning right now, child. He's really having to sit with his feelings for you. He's having to face all of these accusations from others, which are which is forcing him to look inside himself and see that he ain't never got over you. And all of this bipolar energy regarding you was a clear indication that he needed to get in alignment with you. He needed to balance his feelings about you. That is what this man is trying to do now. Balance is up under confused. He's The elements are at play. He is getting reacclimated. He is getting in alignment. He is understanding why he feels the way he feels about you. And that Freudian slip triggered it. The most high made him have that epiphany unconsciously in front of everybody because they was at some sort of event or family dinner or cookout or something. And he was around people, you know, bigging up his woman. And after he had then said all of these beautiful descriptive things about her, he called her by your name now, child. I'm telling you, history. <laughs> And people know he got history with you. People know this man. That you and him. Been at it possibly a few times. History is up under War of the Roses. Like. <clears throat> these people. Have actually assisted him. In his efforts to. Make you look bad somehow. I swear now I'm picking that up. Holy Spirit. Two cards just came out and flipped over. Look. Soul Sucker and then Exercise and Eat Better came out here. Because I'm telling you, you may have had to start altering your lifestyle. You've made some healthier lifestyle changes because these people were spiritually attacking you. And I did see Crown Chakra attacks before I went to Shuffle. The, these people on her team and some of the people on his team, some of these people do spell work. They've done spell work to bring this couple together. They've done spell work to glamour him into thinking she was his empress. She was his divine feminine. But you his divine feminine, but he the bank, though. That's why they doing all of this. They, they're siphoning from him in multiple ways, Okay. But this soul sucker exercise and eat better energy also applies to you because they know you are a weakness for him. They know you are a weakness for him. He too angry. He too something about you. They know it's something up. And so in order to weaken his feelings for you, they were spiritually attacking you and you have had to possibly, you possibly started working out more and eating better because you've noticed that you needed to beef up your immune system. You may have felt the spiritual attack, but that's these people. Sins. Building up a multitude of sins for themselves. Trying to stop this man from wanting you, but you got that good good. Okay? That, that's what you got. And he ain't forgetting that honey. And they know it. They know he ain't forgetting it. He may have tried to use alcohol and drugs to help him get over how he feel for you at one point. And that still ain't work. He calling out your name to folk. So now this man knows that healing is needed. Because like I said, your spirituality is organic. You are one of a kind. You are his one out of a million. You are the one who was fated to be with him. You are his divine feminine. You are his empress. Okay? 
So no matter what they do, he's still going to yearn for you. <clears throat> and they've been trying to block his throat chakra. In addition to all these other things, because this man has, I'm picking up, has wanted to reach out to you. And was unable to do so, alchemy, because of the month, look, the month, I was about to say because of the money they spent <laughs> to do alchemy on, on him. But they've also done alchemy to ensure that this man keeps giving to them. This man gives to her family and he gives to his family. So the money that they're spending to do this spell work on him, whether they do it themselves or they hire someone else to do it, it's worth it to them because of the benefits that they get in return if he stays with her and stay away from you. But now this 444, but now this man is trying to understand his feelings for you. He's trying to bridge that gap. He don't want to be bipolar about you no more. It's obvious that he do still love you. It's even this, this vibe that he wonders if you still love him too. And you were spiritually protected from what these folk tried to do against you. Because I promise you, you deciding to exercise and eat a little better and have nothing on what could have occurred. That, that wouldn't have changed your fate if the spell work had spelled on you. That's how you know you're spiritually protected. Because it's something like they were trying to take away your, your health, your beauty, your ability to appear as this Empress Divine Feminine. Like they, they might have been trying to make you sick. Really like dry you up. Something like that, child. But it, it, I just heard the woman he with is looking dried up. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. It's something like what they've been trying to do to you to make you be unappealing to him has ricocheted onto her. And that's why, you know, I was just telling somebody the other day, we be sitting around waiting to see if justice was served with folks, you know, cause, and we be feeling some type of way because they still out and about, walking around, seemingly doing their thing. But if you just stop and take a look at that person, justice being served is written all over their face, all over their body, their life. You can look at them and tell that karma has been karmican, okay? So even if you don't know the specific details, God gives you indicators. He shows you that he got your back and that he defended you when people were coming for you. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, everything these people tried to put on you, it's then went to this woman that he's still with your twin flame. Okay. And he is realizing as well that trauma bonding is not love and that he's trauma bonded with this person somehow. Whatever they initially connected about with, what is this that flipped out? North. This could be happening in the north. Somebody could be from the north. That just flipped out the day. But whatever they connected about initially, it was trauma. But that's what the, that's what people do. That's why you have to be careful who you who you share your trauma with, as well. Talk to God about it. Don't be talking to that random Joe or Jane that you just met, because some people will use your trauma against you. They will use their your trauma as fuel to help them further traumatize you spiritually attack you because they can use that trauma to play on and that's exactly what these people did 
whatever he disclosed to her, whatever they had their bond moment about, she used that and took that right back to her folks and some of his. And I'm telling you, these people are conspiring together to keep these people in a partnership. And it's because of his fortune. Money is out here in three different ways. Okay? He the bank now. They are ashamed. These people are ashamed. They are ashamed that this man, <laughs> after everything they done did to keep him away from you, to keep him in their pocket, on their team, and with this other woman, they are ashamed that he stood up and said what he said and then referenced you. It was shameful to them. I'm telling you, people been coming at him. He's been in the War of the Roses with this karmic that he was with, as well as his family and hers, because of how he embarrassed her. And it was probably a few outsiders in the mix too. I'm telling you, it was some sort of cookout, some sort of event. And, and people know, okay, what he did, how he got out your name. And his ops are in awe that the spell work that they've been doing all this time did not completely thwart his feelings for you. They're shocked that he still is in this King of Wands energy, fighting back, opposing their decision-making over his life, whether spiritually or on the physical realm. That was a bold declaration that I love who I love or, you know, I don't give a fuck. This, this is who really is in my heart, on my mind. And I don't care who hear me. Cause shit, I'm telling <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like, what? You just said all of that about who now? That's how they was now. Somebody is a music and art lover. It could be this masculine. This man got money. I don't know what he do. I don't know what he invest in. I don't know what his assets look like, but it's got something to do with music and art. I bet you that. Monitoring and hovering spirits. And th these people on both sides know the type of wealth that surrounds this man, that envelops this man, and not just financial wealth. They know how special this divine masculine is. They know that as long as they are attached to him, they're going to be all right. But they some motherfucking haters. These people don't fuck with him. They using him. Spiritually attacking and manipulating him. And they mad because you this. That's it and that's all. Okay? And it's levels to Geisha's geishas whatever you want to call it because i you know i was picking up the last time this card came out in a reading i was picking up how someone felt like the person they were with was a geisha vibe because they were very educated cultured seemingly gifted and talented but they was a hoe the highest bidder could get them and then it, it was given that even if they wasn't won or acquired by a highest bidder, anybody with some money could get them. So you got to be real careful with that Geisha vibe energy. And I feel like that is something that these people put on you because remember from the very beginning, they claimed that you were a type of vibe that needed to be destroyed, that you had done something that was very egregious and this man should hate you for it. And he'd been playing that role, even though that's not how he really felt. But they felt like they had a clear insight into who you were. 
And I'm picking that up with this card as well, that they they feel that you're that that type of vibe. In that previous, that aspect I just previously mentioned, okay? You could be from Africa or of African descent, Asian and or African descent. You could smoke. I'm telling you, these are things, the reason why this is coming out, because these are things that your haters, look at how this energy came out now. Monitoring and hovering spirits came out before haters. They be watching you. They keep up with you. They be spiritually attacking you. But that don't even matter because like I tell y'all, if you bobbing high, baby, you already know. What's understood ain't going ain't to keep being explained. Because if people ain't getting that, they are choosing to remain in karmic energy and I ain't got time to beat no dead horse, okay? And I ain't gonna do it. But I'm letting y'all know these are things that this, this these haters have been saying about the divine feminine. Enlighten me. I'm telling you, this is what they say about you. Who gives a fuck though? Because when I tell you he, he sewed all they lips up tight. Had them, them lips curled up real tight when he called your name out after he was professing his love and admiration and compassion and compare for they bitty that they put on to him. They upset. Do you hear me? But he don't care. Because I'm telling you, he started his healing journey. This man was drinking and drugging, trying to push through this connection with this woman. But hidden helpers are around. God and the Most High is out here. Those are two of his main hidden helpers that are guiding him away from this karmic situation. I just seen this twice. They may be another hidden helper. We'll see if they come out on their own. Anything else? Because these people are doing something financially that they need this man's money. They keep sustaining. And it may not be the most in alignment financial activity that's happening with them. It's something like that with them. But it went, look, the money looking funny on the bottom, child. I'm telling you now, they need him because of whatever bullshit they got going on financially. But after you've done all you can, you just stand. I feel like that's what you did when it comes to this masculine. And I feel like that's what he's about to do. He's about to stand his ground because I feel like he's done everything he can do to try to show these people that he was loyal to them and loyal to this trauma bond energy he was with. But he's about to stand in his power. And he's about to stand on what he's been shown to be true about his feelings for you. This man is regretting everything he said and did against you. And he's hoping that you'll forgive him. I'm telling you, he didn't have an epiphany. He didn't have an awakening. Okay, so, you know, they can talk all that shit. He ain't finna deny this man hadn't, de look, you ain't heard. I ain't even picked that up because he ain't did it. He has not denied one time what he said in front of all these people now. It's something like they want him to take it back and he won't take it back. He won't be like, oh, I didn't mean to say that. She ain't shit. You know I ain't feel that way about her. Da, 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 da. He not saying that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. He's standing north and he at the table again. Somebody from the north or this is happening in the north. But he's, he's not backing down from them. He ain't going toe to toe with them. But his feelings for you are too great. He miss you. He realizes that. And he he's not going to 
pretend anymore for them. He's just not going to do it. Final card, Holy Spirit. Final card. Oh, that's more than one. It's, it's please give me another chance because that's what he's going to be asking you soon. And you can make it because, see, he know he got a he got a fight on his hands. He's going to have to slowly disconnect from what doesn't serve him during his healing journey. It's just inevitable. You know, I heard someone speaking about sacrifice and how we put a negative connotation on sacrifice frequently because people do try to sacrifice people, places, and things for their own personal gain. But for our own personal gain, we must learn how to sacrifice what does not serve us. And that's that release to receive energy that I speak about frequently on my channel. This man realizes that in order to receive you, he's going to have to release this karmic partnership and these haters that are surrounding him because they have shown their hand even more in their reaction to his Freudian slip regarding you, okay? And I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.